Thank you for watching this video, Demand Response in Brazil. I am Rafael Hertzberg, consulting partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Our agenda today will cover basically four points. Brazil's power usage profile, why demand response programs in Brazil should be a win-win situation, evaluating a demand response program, and why start right now? This graph shows a typical day here in Brazil with respect to power usage. What we see is that the maximum demand is about 71 gigawatts. The average demand is roughly 62 gigawatts. And uh, energy consumption starts uh, slowly in the beginning of the day and uh, slowly climbs till the middle of the morning. And then it becomes steady until the end of the afternoon when it reaches the maximum value. And from then on, it will start gradually to decrease its value. This slide shows how a demand response program could be a very good one for the country. So the idea is reducing by somewhere around 6% the maximum demand or basically 4 gigawatts. And in order to achieve this uh, reduction, there would be a need to transfer about 10 gigawatt hours, which represent about 0.7% of the daily national power consumption. And here we show very important demand response references. In Brazil, the marginal cost of expansion, conservatively speaking, is roughly 5 billion reais for installed gigawatt. If we were talking about 4 gigawatts of reduction concerning demand response programs, we are considering basically that 20 billion reais are being postponed in terms of infrastructure. If we consider a 20 year time frame and interest rates that are being charged these days in Brazil, we are talking about 2.6 billion reais per year of amortization costs that will be saved by the demand response programs. Just to give you a rough idea of what this represents, you should consider that one US dollar is basically 3.3 reais. So we are talking basically uh, about 1 billion dollars per year saving. And this is the amount of benefits that will be there on the table to, to be shared among demand response participants. This is the step-by-step -step demand response program as I see it. The first step is identifying the client's load profile. The second one is identifying boundary conditions. And by that, I mean each specific case has financial, technical, and management issues to be considered. And the third step is developing scenarios concerning demand reductions. And the fourth step is calculating benefits and costs associated with this demand response program. And last but not least, then it's about the decision-making process. My recommendation is starting right now, all the works associated to a potential demand response program in Brazil. Although it is a very simple concept, it requires very careful preparation. It requires teamwork because at the end of the day, it's a whole new business for everyone here in Brazil. And most importantly, 
there is one very specific difference with respect to what we usually have in Brazil. Very short notice. It means that demand response programs, they send signals intraday or day ahead. So it means that energy users must be ready at all times. Thank you for watching this video. And here goes my contact information. Make sure to get in touch with us and let us jointly explore your options.